The next menu on our list is going to be under Finance and then the Cash Flow menu. Now this is a pretty powerful but, uh, menu, but it's also fairly involved, so I don't think a complete demonstration of all its capabilities is the most helpful. Um, you really have to just dig in yourself and do this. But essentially we're working with a list. So we have the ability here to go ahead and we can insert an item into a list. That's what insert is. We can delete an item from our list. We can name our list. We can switch from one list to another. So we can have multiple lists here. And then this just turns a, a prompting off for the, the times. And then we would use the calculation menu to operate on that list that we have just created. So if we go into the calculation menu, you'll see here we have the internal rate of return. Well, first, the, the total is just the sum of our cash flow. So we have a list of, of values, positive, negative. So what's our sum, the total? The internal rate of return. We have the periodic interest rate. If we have that periodic interest rate, then we have the net present value, we have a net uniform series, and we have the net future value. So you can perform these calculations on your list or series of transactions.